YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with an empties, and hopefully my dogs don't start barking, and maybe, just possibly, I can get in a video for an empties in under 30 minutes. We shall see on both those fronts. I'm not necessarily holding my breath on that. But, as always, I'm going to start off with makeup, go into full and travel size empties, and then go into foils. This month on Instagram was foil February, so I got a lot of foils, as always, so... I always leave the option for people to click out once I am done with everything but foils. Anyways, let's get started. First off, I have makeup and I have the MAC Fix Plus that I used up for finish 14 by February 14th. This is nothing special to me. Maybe it's because I need, I really need something hardcore that will hold my makeup in place all day that I don't think this is anything special. I know a lot of people love it, more power to them, but I do not think it is worth, I certainly do not think it is worth $22. Next, I have an empty for my project pan. It is the Rimmel Lip Liner. This is the Moisture Renew Universal Transparent Lip Liner. I love clear lip liners. I think I prefer the ones you sharpen though, because I went through this super quickly. So I would probably not repurchase this one, but I would definitely repurchase a clear lip liner. I really like the Urban Decay one. And I'm hoping to try either the Milani or the Essence one next after I go through a few more lip liners. I have the Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. It is just a silicone primer. Um, I don't really love silicone primers, so I would not seek out a full size of this. They feel really heavy on my skin because I have oily skin. I have the Marcel BB Cream in Golden Glow. Uh, this is too dark for me. So I would not repurchase and I have a hard time with BB creams anyway because like I've said my skin is oily. I had the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I do not think this does anything for my lashes. So I would definitely not seek that out. I think it basically tints them a darker shade. I don't get any lift or volume or anything nice out of that. I have a Maybelline Color Whisperer and Pop of Poppy. I actually had to use a lip brush to get the last little bits because it had done one of those things where it had gotten you know high on one side and then too low to use it properly on the other but rather than just calling it quits I used a lip brush and got an extra like day's worth of use. I do like these but apparently they've been discontinued and I did not realize that until I was trying to hunt down a price for this. But that is a full size lip product out of my collection that I actually used up which I am very proud of because I have a really hard time with lip products. I also used up a blush. This was from the Elf St. Lucia Blush and Bronzer Palette. This was the blush. I don't think you can get a good look at the color anymore. I had deep potted it at some point and put it into just a little blush pan that I had. I really liked the blush in that, but I didn't like the bronzer, so I would not repurchase. But if I could get the blush by itself, I definitely would. That was for Seven by Spring, by the way. I have the Givenchy Noir Couture four in one mascara and I will show you the brush this because it is a weird looking brush it's a crazy looking brush isn't it however I really really liked this it did give me you know lift and volume and separate and everything however this is like a $33 mascara so unless I was feeling super splurgy I would not purchase that because I have mascaras that work from the drugstore so yeah let's see what else we got in here i've started using a little bag that i saw uh meg's makeup eight do and i'm like wow that's so smart why didn't i think of that okay we have the hourglass mineral veil primer this is just a little mini i love this i actually once i get through some primers really thinking about purchasing it that'll be a while away though because i have a ton of little mini primers this is the professional by benefit I like this, but I hate the smell of it. And it got to me once I used up a full size of it that I had. So I would not purchase this again, but I like it for what it is. And I'm happy to use samples when I get them. Speaking of lip products, I used up a gloss from Seven by Spring. This is the Star Looks Lip Gloss in Guilty Pleasure. And this is actually a really pretty color. So, but I'm not a super into lip gloss person, so I would probably not purchase this. This little mini, according to their website, is like $9. So, okay, whatever. And I have the Super Goop CC Cream in light to medium. I would really like to try this in Fair Delight because this is too dark for me, but I do like the formula. 
I mean, it's not super stay in place, but for me with the BB cream, it works pretty well. I have this little, I apparently threw this in here, but it, it is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I, it's, it is a sample, but it lasted me for like a week of nightly use. So that's probably why I threw it in here. Even though there is no petroleum in this, this tasted like Vaseline to me. They have colored ones that I still have the samples to that I have not used yet. This did feel really nice on my lips and made my lips feel really nice, but it tasted like Vaseline. So I don't know if I would ever buy a full size of that. And finally, out of that, I have a perfume. This is the Calvin Klein Euphoria perfume. It was okay. It was okay enough to use, but nothing I would ever want to buy. And now onto these. I have, I threw these in the full size thing because I finished these. These are my last two. These are the Biore nose strips. Deep cleansing pore strips. These are fine. I don't, I think that you can get ones from like Dollar General or Family Dollar. I don't remember which one, but one of them sells their own house brand for way cheaper. And I think they do the exact same thing. So, yeah. I have a full thing of Dollar Shave Club razors. They're fine. I like that they're cheap. They're way cheaper than anything you buy at the drugstore and they definitely shave my legs pretty well. They're actually super sharp. You have to be careful with them when you first start using the blade or you will slice yourself open. I only pay like $6 every other month for a cartridge, so can't beat that. I have a Batiste dry shampoo and this is in Free and Cheeky Cherry. I really did like the smell of this. I get these for $5.99 at TJ Maxx, but I would happily pay like the $8.99 drugstore price if I couldn't get to a TJ Maxx and I absolutely needed a dry shampoo. That is not the case right now. I have a bunch, but I really love this and I would repurchase or definitely recommend it. Let's see, I have the Parlor Smoothing Blowout Spray. Parlor by Jeff Chastain, my bad. Um, this is the one that I couldn't really tell if it was doing anything special, but I would try it again, but I don't think I would purchase. I have the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Scrub. This made my face feel weird, so I would definitely not purchase And I have another sample of this and I think I'm going to give it away to a friend. Like it made my face feel kind of tingly in a weird way. And I know I used to use that, so I don't know what happened. Let's see. I have the Origins Vitazing SPF 15 Energy Boosting Moisturizer. This has a light, light tint to it. This is okay. I would never purchase this, but it's something that I would use a sample of because it has SPF in it, so I definitely like it as a daytime moisturizer. But like I said, I don't think I would ever purchase it. This is annoying. This is the Jersey Shore Spa Anti-Aging Lip and Hand Polish in Vanilla Bean. As you can see, I cut it open. This packaging is garbage because all the oil from the scrub leaked out and then I got stuck with about this much to the bottom of just straight scrub. So I had to cut it open so I could use it. This smells just like Vanilla Bean Noel, to me at least. I know some people complained that they weren't getting a vanilla bean, vanilla bean scent out of it. I did really like the product, but this is a full size and this is the packaging that they use. So I would never purchase this. If this came in a pot, I would consider it. This is like $25 too. So. Jersey Shore Spa is a kind of natural cruelty cruelty-free brand, so that's probably why they're a little more expensive with stuff like that. But like I said, I, I can't get past the packaging fail on that. I have two pocket backs. As you guys know, I'm trying to go through all the ones that I have lying around because I don't remember to use these, so I'm just trying to get rid of them. I have the Modessa Snowberry. That was fine, but like I said, I don't use these, so I can't really use them. And I have the Bath & Body Works Coconut Cabana. I did like the smell of this. My sister gave this to me like two years ago, I think. Like I said, I don't use these. So they just hang around forever. So it's been one of my missions this year to get rid of all of mine. I think I have three left right now. One being in my purse. I don't mind keeping one in my purse because you know, sometimes you encounter really icky, grimy stuff outside and you don't have a chance to wash your hands. So that helps. But I don't keep these indoors. I wash my hands before I put on my makeup, so I don't need like anti-back for like when I put on my makeup. But whatever. So yeah, really like the smell of this. I know uh, Bath and Body Works has done new packaging now, so I don't know if you can still get that or not. I have the Mark Anthony Hydrating Coconut Oil Shea Butter 
deep nourishing conditioning treatment. This is really nice. It does smell really good. However, I don't think it's anything special, so I would probably not purchase. I got this from Ipsy. I have the John Frieda Full Repair Strengthening and Restore Shampoo and Conditioner Samples. I've had these for ages. I got these from the Dollar Tree over a year ago, and I finally made myself use them up. I do like this. They are fine. And John Frieda does not test on animals, so that is a nice brand to have in the drugstore to be able to get to. However, I don't think these are anything special, so I would probably not repurchase, at least not in a full size. I would have to see, I had these in my travel bag, and then I got worried that they might expire, so I went ahead and finished them off. Because like I said, they've just been sitting around forever. Oh my god. <laughs> I just realized that the squirt gun that we use on my dogs while they, because they're excessively barky when like the cat tries to come through the door to eat, I just realized it leaked all over my desk. Awesome. I have this Burt's Bees Almond and Hand Milk Hand Almond and Milk Hand Cream. I'm trying to read it backwards. Okay, I can't open it. This smells oddly like cherry cough drops to me. I didn't mind it, but it, that's what it made me think of. Um, it's fine. I don't think I would repurchase. It is a little heavy, but I just used this at night before I went to bed, so it was fine for that. So, not repurchase, but it's fine if you need like a nice heavy hand cream. I have the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Booster's Facial Cleanser with white tea and vitamin E. I enjoy this when I use it because I really like the smell of it. However, I don't think it does anything special enough for me to want to purchase it, but I always end up with these little samples of it, usually from Walmart beauty boxes. This I did not like. It is the Skin Fix Ultra Rich Body Butter. For being unscented, this smelled weird. It had that unscented scent to it that sometimes happens. You got, I'm, I'm, am I crazy or do you guys know what I'm talking about? Also, this was so thick, it was hard to rub in. Like it wouldn't spread evenly. And I don't have that problem usually with body butters. Like the Body Shop ones, they spread nicely and everything. This did not. So I would not recommend this at all. I have the Care Zone A Cure Clarifying Emulsion for Troubled Skin. I, I, when I initially finished this, I was worried that it might have been breaking me out. However, I don't think that's the case. I did like having this, but I think I would need like the full line to try out to see if it actually does anything good for my skin. And as it is a Korean brand, it is probably really expensive, so I don't know if I would go, th go through purchasing the full thing. I have a Clarins UV Plus Anti-Pollution Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. This is another one of those things that I keep getting little samples of, so I use them and they're fine, but it's not something I would ever re go out and purchase the full size of. Clarins is way too rich for my blood. This is a Molten Brown London Orange and Bergamot Body Wash. I've only seen this for sale online, so I don't know how to get it normally. Orange and Bergamot is a Bergamot is a nice description of this because that is exactly what it smells like. It is citrusy and kind of florally at the same time. This was really nice, but due to the lack of availability of it, I would probably not repurchase. I had the Harvey Prince Sea Salt Hair Texturizing Volumizing Spray. This was fine, but no different from anything you can get at the drugstore, so I would not purchase a full size of that. I have the Dermalogica Gentle Cream Exfoliant. Once again, something that was nice to use, but I don't think I would ever feel the need to go get a full size of it. I just don't think it's anything special. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. I do like cream, not cream, gel moisturizers. But it's not that this one is cheaper than other ones. I just have ones that I like a little more than this one, so I would not purchase the full size. I have the Juara Candle Nut Body Cream. This did smell really nice. I joked on my Birchbox video that this would probably go over one leg. I did get a full application out of this and I was really surprised. So this was nice, but I don't think I would go out of my way to purchase it. And finally, before I get to all the samples, I have the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. This is the light version. And I have a little sample pack of the regular one. I threw these together because I used them together. I used these in a bath because if I try to just use oils on my face, they last forever and I'm trying to get rid of all these tiny little samples so I could just have one that I really like. 
So once that are okay and fine, but n don't blow me away, I just use it in my bath when I take a bath. And the Josie Marin Light Argan Oil is actually really nice. I just have ones I like better. So this is fine if you want to try it. I think that there are cheaper ones out there that do the same thing. This is the Nip and Fab Skin Glycolic Fix Exfoliating Facial Pads. This came with like five. I don't know if it was just not enough to see any results, but I don't think these did anything. And now we all, all, all that we have are samples. So I would not hate you if you tuned in away now. Let's see, I have two little perfume cards. This is the Versace Yellow Diamond. This was fine, but nothing I want to purchase. And this is the Tucka Emilia perfume. It smelled fine on the card, but once it touched my skin, it gave me a massive headache. So I would not want to be anywhere near that. I have a Dove Sensitive Skin uh, little body wash sampler. I hate these samplers like this because they're really cute and I always forget that once I open them and try to use them in the shower, it's really hard to get everything out of it. The product itself is great though, so... I have so much body wash that I probably never buy one again or never need to buy one again, but you know how it goes. Let's see, I have three little miniature makeup wipes. I have the Sephora Express Eye Makeup Remover that I think is fine. I have the Kleenex Facial Cleansing Wipe. These literally felt like a butt wipe that you use when you go to the bathroom. Like they were super thick and it felt, it just, the concept of it kind of turned me off. <laughs> It, it removed makeup okay, but not great. And these are the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleansing Cloths. This came in like a Target Beauty box. I got 10 of them. No wait, this came in that Birch Box drugstore beauty box that I bought. These were okay. I think these are made more for like using after the gym or something like that rather than for makeup because they didn't take off makeup very well. But if I used them on like when I was super sweaty or something like that, they were kind of nice. I think that's just what they're made for. I actually separated my samples today, so I could actually say these are all hair care samples. These I did get in a Target box. These are the Attitude. Uh, these are from the brand Attitude. This is a Volume and Shine shampoo, and this is a two-in-one shampoo and body wash. These were fine. I wish I had gotten one of these with the matching conditioner, but. Actually, I, I understand that they're trying to make environmentally conscious packaging for samples. However, as you can see, if you have to use this more than once, they warp horribly in the shower because if water touches them, they're freaking cardboard. So, yeah. So, I get the idea behind the packaging, but I think it needs a little bit more work. I have the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. You guys know I really like this. Maybe I will finally get through my little miniature size. I have a Wella Professionals Perfect Me Lightweight Beauty Balm Lotion for your hair. This was also fine. Nothing special, nothing to make me want to go purchase it. These I get from Sally's Beauty all the time for free when I make a purchase. This is the Ion Color Solutions Deep Conditioning Treatment. This one is for color treated hair. This also had that kind of cherry cough drop smell. Otherwise it worked beautifully. So you can get these, you can pay like a dollar for these or you can make a different purchase at Sally's Beauty and if you have their little membership card they usually throw these in your bag for free. I have like 80 of them. Two shampoo and conditioners. I have the Garnier Fructis Fall Fight. I would need like a real size sample of this or a full size to know if it does anything for fallout in my hair but they smell really awesome so I will always use samples of that. And I have the John Frieda Frizz Ease Beyond Smooth Frizz Immunity Shampoo and Conditioner. I think this did actually help some with frizz because I used this and let my hair air dry and it wasn't quite as frizzy. So I would, I would be willing to purchase this if I ever ran out of shampoo and conditioner. I have masks. I have two of the little Glam Glow Bright Mud masks. I use one pod for both eyes, so these were actually four different treatments. I, did, I do really like these, but I don't think they're worth $70. I once found these at TJ Maxx for $20 for a full thing of them, and I think they're about worth that. I have a Gem Miracle Black Pearl O2 Bubble Mask. These bubble masks make my face itch in the most horrific way. Like not in an allergic reaction way. I'm mad, so I don't think I can use these. I have a Wine Therapy Sleeping Mask from 
I, I, I don't know who this is from. It might be wine therapy. I don't know. This literally looked and smelled like a jello shot. So it was kind of weird, but at the same time, I kind of liked it. So if I got more of these, I would use them. I have a D Pure Derm Skin Solutions Kiwi Yogurt Pack. This did smell really good, but it felt like rubbing yogurt on my face. And it made my face really greasy, so I would not want that. And I have two Sephora masks. I have the Green Tea Eye Mask. I liked the Lotus one better. I think it did more. This is more relaxing and refreshing, so I wasn't expecting it to do a whole bunch, but to purchase, I would not purchase this one again because they are $5 for a one-time use mask. It did feel nice though. I have the Sephora Rose Mask. This is ultra moisturizing and brightening. I got this in a Black Friday bag. Like they all came with one of these masks, plus a bunch of samples. The ultra moisturizing and brightening is not really what I need for my skin. But I do like their masks in general. They do feel really nice. They are cut nice. Like they're cut weird. Then they sit weird on your face. They do not do that. I, and the green tea one is actually really nice for my skin. I have some makeup samples and then I have a bunch of skincare. So I'm going to save that for last. I have the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow little three piece sampler. I really like this. Uh, maroony shade on the end and I kind of want to purchase it. I really like their shadow formula. That's why I keep ending up with getting like their nine artist shadow palettes when they go on sale or something like that. I did a first impression on this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in vanilla. I really did not like this. This is not made for oily skin. <laughs> like it broke down and got super greasy on me. But I will link that video down below so you can see my full review, but I did not like this. I have two primers. This is the Hourglass Mineral Veil. You guys know I like that. And this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Base. Usually I've used the Hydrating Base and really liked it. I really like the Smoothing Base too, so I would be happy to get more of that. And we have an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Sample in Soft Brown. My shade is taupe, one shade lighter than this, so the dark side was a little hard for me to use. But I love this formula, and once I go through some more brow products, I really want to purchase this in taupe. Oh, well, I do have a little oil sample. This is the Marula by John Paul Selects Pure Marula Facial Oil. This smelled so good, you guys. Now, I used this little one sample in the bath and loved it for that. I have a bigger travel size sample that I want to actually use on my face once I get through my current face oil. I'm using a little, the little mini of the fresh sea berry facial oil that I got in a Sephora box that I think I will be done with this month. So I really enjoyed this and I have my bigger sample that I went in a giveaway that I will be starting to work on soon. But I just kind of wanted to, like I said, work through some of my this other facial Bosha oils. the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I really like this, but I just, I try to buy the $10 sample of it, but it's always sold out on Sephora's website. This is the Alpha Beta Glow Pad for face. It is an anti-aging exfoliating self-tanner. This didn't self-tan my face, but it self-tanned one of my fingers. <laughs> so I, I'm not much on self-tanning anyway, but I had it, so I decided to use it and it still didn't really work for me. I have the Misha Time Revolution, the first treatment essence and clear toner. These are both okay. Nothing like super duper to write home about, I believe. This is an, what always happens with a bunch of these skincare samples. I wind up having to look on my Instagram account to see if I had any screaming opinions about them. And I put them in, I put them like right here if I just can't remember what I thought about them. I don't remember anything special about these, but you know, who knows? This is the Paracone MD Refirm Surf Surface Recovery Treatment. I think I liked this okay, but I don't remember it being special. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydro from Sleeping Cream. This is a little on the heavy side for me. I like it better than the Clinique Sleeping Cream, but I like the Laneige one better. I think I said that in my last empties because I keep getting these samples. So I keep using them. This is the May Coop Raw Sauce Hydrating and Nourishing Essence. I think I actually got two uses out of this. Another one of those things that hasn't made a lasting impression on me, so I'm guessing it was okay, but not, you know, special. This I had issue with. This is the Kate Simmerfield Exfoliate. 
I tried using this in the shower and I think that was a mistake because I thought it was just a regular exfoliating treatment, like scrubby bees. But apparently you're supposed to let it sit on your face for a little bit and then kind of rub it off. So I used this wrong. Awesome. I have a Nude Skin Omega Cleansing Jelly. These are fun to use, but I don't think I would purchase it because it just feels different and weird. I have the Tatcha Radiant Deep Brightening Serum. I want to get like a sample of this because I liked using it and I do think it might have helped brighten my skin a little bit. But before I spend like a ridiculous amount of money for a Tatcha product, because this is like $110, I want to get like a miniature somehow and see if it really does help my skin. But I liked it. I liked it enough to remember it, obviously. This is the Clinique Foam Foaming Sonic Facial Soap. Definitely super foamy. Uh, not super for me, but it was nice and foamy. So if you like that, this might be something to try. I have an Ole Hendrickson little three-piece set. I had the Truth Serum Collagen Booster. You guys know I love this. I have the Invigorating Night Treatment and the Sheer Transformation. I think these are just okay. I've used like little miniatures of these in the past and they're okay, but I don't think they're anything special. I haven't, I've gotten down enough so I can hold them in my hand. I have the Skin Food Gold Caviar Emulsion. All these Skin Food ones barely had enough in them for me to really even try. I, I don't think I don't think I even liked this one. The Maison All-in-One Snail Repair Cream. I think I liked this. Like I think I was surprised that I liked this, but I'm not bothered by putting snail cream on my face or anything like that. So I think I liked that, but I don't remember. I might be confusing it with something else. This I did like, even though I got it in my eye and it burned. I got a couple of these things in my eye and they all burned. I had like a three night span where every time I washed my face, everything got in my eye. This is the Acne Foam Cleanser from Tusso Wung. And I, I really enjoyed it. This is another, ah, see I might be confusing it with this. This is the Nature Republic Snail Solution Foam Cleanser. Foamy. This is the Aloe Vera Foaming Cleanser from Skin Food. This had at least enough for one use, but you can see it's big enough. It's probably supposed to have like two. This was okay, but I don't think it was anything special. It's the Misha Time Revolution Night Repair Serum. This is apparently supposed to be like a slightly cheaper version of the Estee Lauder Night Repair Serum. I don't think I liked this. Like, I think it was a little on the heavy side. I know I don't like the Estee Lauder one because it's too heavy for my skin. This is the Lancer The Method Polish. I have like two other things from them. I really liked the scrub. I remember that much. So this I might look into getting one day. Skin Food Agave Cactus Serum. I'm almost positive I didn't like this. I have the Alicia Koi BB All-in-One Cleanser Massage and Cleansing. This was nice. I have the Skin Food Black Raspberry Eye Cream that I was able to get a couple of days use out of. This is nice. It smelled a little weird. Like it didn't smell like black raspberry. It smelled like weird black raspberry. So I would not want to purchase that. Oh, this was the bane of my existence. This really should have been in the travel size. This is the Mare Desso All-in-One Moisturizer. It's supposed to be a day, night moisturizer, eye cream toner cosmetic primer this was bad as a cosmetic primer like it's made my primer ball up so I couldn't use it for that and it was bright green I liked that it was resealable as you can see right here this is a $28 sample the full size of this is like a hundred and something dollars and I had to make I had to mix a lot of oil with this to make it even palatable but you guys know me, once I start using something, I get determined to finish it up as long as it's not like breaking me out or anything. And it didn't break me out, I just didn't like it. So I'm very glad to be done with this. I would never use another one. Here are the other two Lancer products. This is the cleanser, which was okay, and the moisturizer, which was a little heavy for my skin. This is the Alginus Genius Ultimate Anti-Aging Eye Cream. I really did like this. However, Alginus is really expensive. I want to get like a little mini pot of them. Like go into Sephora and ask for a, you know, a pot sample or something. 
because I liked this, but I would have to know if it actually did anything, like anti-aging wise, that I could notice before I dropped the money on it. You guys know I like these Dr. Dennis Gross peels. And finally, I have the Face Shop Chia Seed. I looked this up online and it said, if I remember correctly, that it was a moisturizer. This was not only heavy, but sticky. So I really did not like that. Whew. All right, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.